How long does it take you to do a design? If you're anything like me, it takes longer than the actual process of making the glass piece. Or it could be that the design process is what's sort of holding you back from giving this a try as a hobby. It is quite daunting getting to know platforms like Photoshop and Illustrator, but you'll be happy to know there's now a solution to both of those problems. It's called Heritage Designer. And in this video, I'm just going to do a very brief introduction to it. I won't be covering all of its functionality, but by the end of it, you'll be able to create a professional looking logo with all of your kind of details on it. But before I crack on with that, if you're a fan of gold leaf, reverse glass, sign painting, digital processes, then you're in the right place because that's all this channel's about. And I'll try to release a video every couple of weeks. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. I reward my patrons with a different vector design every month, early access to the videos, I credit them in the video. Also, I'll be dropping the odd freebies here and there throughout the month. If Patreon seems like too much of a commitment and you just fancy buying me a pint, there's always the super thanks button and I'm always super thankful when people use it. Also in the description, there's a link to the Facebook group. There's over 500 people on there now, amateurs, professionals, and all sharing ideas, helping each other out. It's a really good place. Last but not least, there's a link to my Etsy shop where I'm selling some of my designs. Right, all that out of the way, let's crack on with a vid. Right, so this is the homepage for the Heritage Type Co website. They create really nice sort of vintage style fonts. The founder, a guy called Tobias Soul, I first came across him on Instagram and I saw these amazing designs he was doing. I then bought quite a few of his fonts and then I've kind of followed him ever since. I'd strongly recommend any of the fonts, they're absolutely amazing and I use them all the time for my designs. But in some cases, design might not be something that is your wheelhouse or even, you know, the sort of software subscriptions can get quite pricey. And he's created something called Heritage Designer, which I'll put a link to both the font website and the Heritage Designer in the description of this video. And what Heritage Designer is, is loads of templates, all fully editable, all incorporating the fonts from Heritage Type Co. And you can export them in any format you want, change them to the solid black and white so that we can use them for our um, vinyl templates. So let me just show you how this works. So first of all, it's subscription. You can use this for free and you can work on the projects on there and save them. But the main thing is you can't export them in the formats that we need them. So a subscription is going to be required to get the designs out of the Heritage Designer platform and onto your computer. But $15 a month and the amount that's on there, this is an absolute steal. And like it says, 50 projects you can work on for a month. You know, So for even a professional, that's a lot of projects to get through. But I mean, amateur, hobbyist, you know, that, that is plenty, I think. And being able to export SVG, which will import straight into your vinyl cutting software. So let's go back to the designer and have a look at how it works. So if on the home page, if we just scroll down, all of these beautiful designs here are fully editable. You can access these and go in there and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But if you didn't want to just scroll through all of these and you wanted something specific, you've got the search bar here. So if, for example, you wanted to make this for a coffee shop, we type in coffee. That's going to bring up a load of pre-designed logos for coffee or a coffee shop, which, I mean, that alone, there is loads. Let's try something else. So if we go bar, you know, and they are gorgeous these designs you know really really nice and the fonts are amazing all of the all of the kind of ornaments are beautiful so yeah so much to choose from but what we'll do now is just jump straight in and um just pick one at random so let's have a look at this click on it if that's one we want to go with kind of come down here and go to use this design and that brings us into our kind of editing platform and all we've got to do is just click on each section to bring it up and it brings you all of the editing options next to it. So let's start with this. If I double click on it, don't worry that it just pops back to being straight. That's just for the time when we sort of type something else in. When we actually edit it and, and click off it, it'll go back to the normal kind of following the curvature of the path that it was on. So 
I'll just delete this. Let's go for Happy Gilda. Okay, and that's followed that path. That looks really nice. It's a little bit big, but here underneath the font, we've got our type size and we can put that in manually. So let's go for something like 170 and see how big that is. That looks about right. So really easy to use. You know, you've also got things like the kind of distance between the lettering. So if it was a font that was quite tall and wasn't, you know, wasn't filling right out to the edge, you can up this and that will spread the, um, that will increase the space in between each letter. If you've got lines of text, like one on top of the other, this box here will sort of increase or decrease the space in between the lines. You've got transformation options here. Personally, I wouldn't touch these, um, mainly because these designs have been done specifically so that all of the kind of transformations have been done for you. So, I mean, it's worth having a click. But personally, I think all of these designs have taken everything into account, so I tend to leave this area alone. So, what else have we got here? So, we can change all of the colours within the font and within every element of it. What I'm going to do is just speed through this just to show you how quick and easy this is to make a you know professional quality design and then get it ready for export so that we can get this onto the back of a piece of glass. So let's change this font here. I'm just going to put this as my hometown. And I think that needs some of the spacing in between the letters. So I'm going to use this button here, but rather than do it in single increments let's just type it in and push it up so that needs quite a bit i think i'm going to go see what it's like at 300. i think that looks really nice And there, it's as simple as that. Just double clicking in there, typing what you like, and then clicking outside of the box. So that's perfect for something that we, if we wanted to use this for print, but obviously I need to get this down to two colours so that it works in the vinyl cutter. So let's start with this font here. So we've got the text colour and then all of the sort of internal colours as well. So let's just see what this is like by changing it to white. You can see in between there, let's change these to white. So I'll come off here. Whoop. If I click the other gold colour and change that to black. Now this is all dependent on whether you want to keep that stripe in this text. You could drag it to white and have that as completely empty text. I quite like it. I'm going to keep it nice and ornamental. So and same, we're going to change this one to white. Clicking on any of the ornaments, same thing. Drag it to white. So I'll just quickly whip through this and then get to exporting it. And there you go. That design probably took about five minutes. Well, not for me to design it, but for me to edit it. And I think that looks amazing. And it's all prepared, ready to be put through a vinyl cutter or for anything else that you might use it for. Okay, so all I need to do now is download it. 
and I can do that by clicking this button in the top right of the screen. So when I click on that, I've got a few options. I can change the size of it in pixels, inches or millimetres. I'm going to go with 2000 pixels square, which works out about 20 centimetres at 300 dpi. And I'm going to download this as a PNG. There's a reason I'm not going for a vector based format and I'll show you that now. So I downloaded the SVG and I opened it in Illustrator and what you can see when I hover over these sections is the vector lines um, highlighted in blue but also if I go into this section here you can see that the stripes going through this lettering is being masked off but the path is still there and that will likely mean when you put this through the vinyl cutter it will recognize these vector paths and and cut them and that's not what we want you can edit this in Illustrator but Obviously the whole point of this video is to not need any of this kind of industry standard software. So I'm going to download it as a high res PNG and I'm going to vectorize it in the Vinyl Master software as per my usual process. So let's go back into the Heritage Designer. Download that as a PNG just by clicking on it. When I open that up, there it is. And I think it's amazing. It's just such a brilliant tool, really nice designs on there. And like I said before, if it's the design process that's holding you back, I think this is a game changer and a complete no-brainer. So, yeah, I'll leave a link to the Heritage Designer website in the description. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon. And please share it with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. So, until next time, cheers.